Maybe this museum is too low brow for this masterpiece. And take your putrid painting with you. Won't anyone save my precious painting? First up is the episode Insecurity Guards, which is actually like a really good episode in terms of modern Spongebob. You'll actually notice today, guys, a lot of the episodes are from modern Spongebob, so seasons like 9, 10, 11, 12, etc. Anyways, though, here's our first mistake today from Insecurity Guards. Take a look at this. <laughs> no! Rule number one of guarding is don't let visitors touch them. No touchy, no feely. Aye, aye. And the most important rule of all is don't let visitors steal stuff. If you see anybody suspicious, <laughs> you give them the old stink eye. Okay, so this little dude right here is Monty P. Moneybags, and he's actually somewhat of an iconic character as he made his first appearance all the way back in the episode Artist Unknown from season one, two, or three. I can't remember. I call it bold and bright. More like belongs in the trash. <laughs> Anyways, though, as you can see, this little dude looks like this, all right? He's like orange. This is his main color ever since Artist Unknown. Remember this, as this is a big part of the mistake, as in Insecurity Guards, when Monty P. Moneybags is seen from afar, as you can see, he has his correct orange color. But this is where things get tricky. When SpongeBob and Patrick pass by him up close, like, what is going on with this dude? What? What? He's mistakenly colored as like a light turquoise, and this is just incorrect. Normally, he looks like this, this orange color, but here, the animators just made a massive blunder and colored him completely incorrectly, dude. Like, what? That ain't even it for this episode, too, guys. Wait until you see this mistake. Let's see if you can spot it. Oh, boy! An extinct woolly mollusk! Oh, this little guy looks like my Gary. Is that it? Why won't you work? Huh? Okay, so throughout the episode, for the most part, Spongebob and Patrick wear these fresh security guard outfits, and my boys are dripping, bro. Like, get me one of those shirts. Look at them. They're so fresh. But anyways, they're wearing these outfits, and you need to remember this as it's important to the mistake. As later on, when Patrick and Spongebob get spit out by this woolly mollusk, before they get spit out, they're still wearing the security guard outfits, okay? They're wearing this. They go in his mouth, but then when they're spit out, take a look at our boy Patrick over here, as he's wearing wearing his normal, like, outfit, he's wearing his normal pants, instead of his security guard uniform, which is, like, a massive continuity error. He's wearing it, but then when he's shot out of the mouth, it's like they just forgot, but whatever. There's still another mistake in this episode. Let's move over to that one. Put on those mistake glasses, and let's see if you can spot it, though. The first exhibit on our tour is... <laughs> the employee lock room! <laughs> Your life is so glamorous. Let me just get my key. Put this on. Okay. <laughs> well, how do I look? Now, this one is more subtle. It's not that big of a deal. Real quick, though, take a look at this. This is how the inside of Patrick's mouth normally looks, all right? Remember this, as it doesn't look like this during this one scene in Insecurity Guards, as when Patrick shows SpongeBob the employee locker room, take a look at Patrick's mouth. It's like outlined red for a frame. It's only one frame, and it almost looks like the entire inside of his mouth is red, which is totally a mistake, guys. Like, it's not that bad of a mistake, but it's totally a mistake. Now, if you want bad mistakes, stay tuned, as I've got lots in this video. Let's head over to another episode. I'm so glad you all could make it. Tonight is going to be a magical evening filled with... Magic. Can we skip the magic and get right to the free money? How about the latte zipping? And what about the pumping of the iron? The real reason I called you here was to watch this slideshow of photos from my family vacation. I knew it was too good, good to be true. true. Want to know what would be a ton of fun? Going on a family vacation with SpongeBob's mom and dad. And that's exactly what happens in the episode, A SquarePants Family Vacation. And it's a good episode. The plot is like fire in this episode. But of course, the episode has mistakes. And and here's the first one, guys. Keep those eyes peeled. Let's see if you can spot it. Okay, find me. He can. 
This one is gonna require us slowing down some footage, okay? Because it happens so quickly and it's very easy to miss. So, when this boat is crashing through the Bikini Bottom Outskirts Mega Mall, there are these two incidentals right here who are walking near the edge. Now, if we slow down the footage as this scene takes place and the crash happens, these two incidentals disappear way too early. You can see they're supposed to disappear a little bit later on, but if you slow it down, you can see they kind of just cut out of there way too early and they just they just cease to exist. They just go poof, and it looks very, very weird. But that's not it for weird occurrences in this episode. This next mistake is even weirder, dude. Look at this. You brought homework? No, Patrick. It's a brochure detailing all the fun to be had at our final destination, the Great Barrier Reef. I can't wait to get there. How about you? No, I can't. Yeah. No, I mean, I really can't. I've been in this confined space too long already, help! All right, boys, all right. Let's turn down the volume back there. Why don't we play a road game to pass the time? Yeah! Anybody know any? Oh, 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 oh. Hide why does he get to go first? This one is admittedly more subtle, but it's still like a mistake. So Patrick's seatbelt, as you can see here, it's on while he's viewing the map. They're in the car and he has his seatbelt on, you know, that's that's good. Kids, if you're ever in the car, make sure to wear your seatbelt, just like Patrick is right here. But when Margaret Squarepants, SpongeBob's mom, suggests playing a road game to pass the time, um, Patrick's seatbelt just disappears. I don't think the dude took his seatbelt off, but I think happened here is the animators originally drew him with the seatbelt, but then we're feeling a little lazy for this scene because, you know, Patrick has to move around and just didn't draw the seatbelt again, making for a continuity error, a pretty bad one. And that's not it. We've got more mistakes in today's video, guys. Stay tuned. This next one is nutty. Hello, Mrs. Puff. Are we feeling any better? I see you got the flowers I sent. Yes, I'm allergic to them and you. Let's head over to season eight for this next one. I'm talking about the episode Demolition Doofus. Here are some hilarious clips from this episode. It's a funny one. Okay, drivers, let the destruction begin. I can't look. Wait, yes, I can. Ah! Uh, what the hell? This is not going well. You know, SpongeBob isn't a very good driver, as we've seen over the years, but I guess that kind of helped them in this episode. But anyways, here's the first mistake. Let's see if you guys can spot it. Here's a little hint. It has to do with this character right here, Incidental 41. So what do you say, Captain Nutfish? Will you enter him in the derby? Look out, extra credit. Here I come. <laughs> to the Bikini Bottom Demolition Derby! The Cruncher! So this admittedly is another nitpick, kind of, but it is still like a blatant mistake. But as I said, Incidental 41, right? So take a look at this scene right here and take a look at Incidental 41's lips. As you can see, they're like a pale yellow. Right here, I'm zooming in, remember the color of those lips. But then in the very next scene, literally seconds later, poof, take a look at the lips now, they're blue. I doubt Incidental 41 randomly went and put like lipstick on or something. This was just a weird mistake. First, they're like pale yellow, as you can see here, and now they're blue. Like what? What happened? The same can be said for this next mistake right here. Let's see if you guys can spot this one. Oh dear, I think I'm in that fellow's way. Engage turn signals. Hands at 10 and 2, and finally, fly! This one is really, really easy to miss, but take a look at this. As you can see, SpongeBob lifts up his left leg to floor it, all right? He lifts up his left leg, but then like in the next shot, his right foot is shown on the gas instead when it was his left leg that he like lifted up. Not that big of a deal, kind of a minor mistake, but it's still a mistake, and guys, I've got another one. Check out this. Mrs. Pop, what should I? Why are you still alive? 
Put it in drive. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. You're the best. So take a look at this guy right here, the cruncher, all right? I don't want to mess with this guy. I don't want no beefs with this man right here. But anyways, look at him. As you can see, he has these back fins. It's a part of his design. They're on his back. They're right here. You can see them. Well, when the cruncher drives away from SpongeBob after he drives over him and nearly ends his life, take a look at the cruncher's back as those fins are just gone. They're missing. What happened? Fish don't just randomly lose their fins. So this was another mistake. Mistake. They drew him with fins, as you can see here, but then in this scene, they were lazy and forgot about them. But hey, mistakes happen. When you write these stories, you gotta use a little imagination, boy. Imagination. Yeah. Maybe instead of man watches pole, you could say something like, oh, man, Mary's pole. We talk a ton about SpongeBob season one, two, and three, or seasons like 11, 12, and 13 on this channel all the time. But let's go smack dab right into the middle with season six, the episode being the Krabby Chronicle, an episode all about a crusty crab newspaper. It's wild. What we're really here to talk about though, guys, is what you guys clicked on the video for are the spicy mistakes in this episode. Roll the footage and let's see if you guys can spot it. Well, gee, Mr. Krabs, I've written about everyone in town. Any ideas, sir? Surprise me! Give me a shocker! Oh, the wildest story ever, huh? How's it going, lad? It's a surprise! Did you catch it? Well, after Mr. Krabs leaves his office for the night and SpongeBob begins typing on the press, take a look at Mr. Krabs' office door, okay? It's right behind SpongeBob. This is important. It's right there. You can see it. It's right there. But in the very next shot, um, where is it? Where did the door go? Did like Mr. Krabs have renovations in a matter of like 30 seconds? I don't think so. I think the animators drew the door, as you can see here. But then in this scene, they forgot to draw it. And just like, how do you even do that? But anyways, here's another mistake. What a money-tastical day, eh, Mr. Squidward? Yeah, I'm just raking it in. I'm excited about all the newspaper sales, too. This next mistake is very similar to the last one, as when Mr. Krabs is walking up to the Krusty Krab, take a look at this poster of a Krabby Patty on the window. It looks delicious. I would love a Krabby Patty. But more importantly, the poster, remember that this poster is right here. As when Mr. Krabs eventually enters the Krusty Krab, the poster that we just seen is just gone now. It's vanished. It just, uh, it doesn't exist anymore, which is another continuity error, guys. You know, continuity errors aren't that bad, I'll admit, but they're still a mistake. And guys, we've got more mistakes coming up. Let's keep it moving. Ready? Oh, there once was a kid in the Light as extreme as you want to make it! Maybe we didn't sing it right. Okay, the episode pre-hibernation week from all the way back in like season two, I think. This is an old episode, but it's also a really good episode with some spicy mistakes. Here's the first one. There we go. Hey, SpongeBob, I got all the leaves right. SpongeBob. Sandy, I can't rake any faster. These are big leaves. <laughs> Then go scrape the salt lick or something. We gotta get this stuff done. I'm hibernating next week. Hibernating? What's that? It's when I go to sleep for the whole winter. Can I do that? <laughs> no, silly. It's a mammalian thing. So I'm gonna be real, this mistake is just so weird and I'm not the one who found it. I found this mistake on Reddit and just, I don't know how they would have even noticed this, but at the beginning of the episode pre-hibernation week, as you can see, Sandy's wearing this like purple bikini, all right? And underneath the purple bikini are these green bikini bottoms, all right? You can see them right here. I personally would have never paid attention to something like this while watching a children's cartoon, but if you watch this scene as it progresses, when Sandy eventually goes over by the fence and bends over a little bit, um, her green pants, or I guess bikini bottoms, are missing. So, yeah, this is a mistake. I more care about the mistake part. But again, to the dude on Reddit who found this mistake, you're a weirdo. But anyways, here's another mistake from this classic, iconic banger of an episode. Listen up, y'all! I'm rounding up a search party! SpongeBob's 
gone missing. Attention, Bikini Bottom! The time has come to double, no, triple our efforts. Oh, look! He's up in the sky! Oh, well, he's not. Huh? They must have gone to search some more. SpongeBob! Where are you? I can explain. This one is just strange. So during this scene where Sandy is throwing around a bunch of objects, at one point she throws around a building. I mean, Sandy's freaking the Hulk in this episode, but she throws around a building. Now, as she throws it in the air, if you watch closely, part of the building is actually cut off. You can see that the building guys would have went off screen and then that portion would have been cut off, but they cut it off way too early. And it looks awkward. Like I'm zooming in here, you can see that this piece of the building is just chopped off way too early. Like I said, it's strange, but what's even more strange is this other mistake in pre-hibernation week. Take a look at this and let's see if you guys can spot it without me telling you. This squirrel's trying to kill me. Any more of these stunts and I'll be reduced to a puddle. Sandy, I think I need to tell you something. What is it? Well, it's just that I'm feeling sort of... Did you guys catch it? Well, don't worry. I'm going to explain it, and I'm going to make it really quick. So, this is Sandy's design right here in any other episode. Now, take a look at the badge found on Sandy's suit, right? It looks like this. But throughout the entirety of pre-hibernation week, the entire episode, if you look at that badge, it's just black this time, dude. They, like, completely miscolored it, but not for one scene, but for the entire episode. How does that even happen, dude? Like, what? Anyways, though, let's keep the video moving and head over to another episode with more mistakes, guys. You will not believe what's coming. The sheet's gotta be completely smooth and tight. You made the bed with my old saggy skin. That's a pickle. But hey... No wrinkles! All right, let's switch up the flow a little bit. We're always talking about SpongeBob. Let's talk about the Patrick Star Show. And don't worry, guys, I'm gonna head right back over to SpongeBob after this. I know not everybody loves the Patrick Star Show, but anyways, the episode is home eek, and here's the first mistake. Reef Wellington! <laughs> An A plus for you! <laughs> Next up, we have... Uh... Squidina's Pickle Pie! Aren't you gonna try it? You tried all my other projects. So this one is a blatant animation error, but when Squidina says, aren't you gonna try it, take a look at her arm as it's layered behind her sleeve. As you guys know, an arm is supposed to go through the sleeve, but in this one shot, her arm is behind the entire sleeve, which is just like a blatant mistake. And here's another one from this same episode. Your other project. project. <laughs> <laughs> In it. Excuse me. Huh? You've got something on your shirt. <laughs> Pretty please. This next one is just weird, dude. But when the teacher turns around to face Squidina in this scene, for about a frame, take a look at his tie as the lines around it, like the outline, just randomly turn green. It's so weird, dude. It's just randomly green. What? Normally it looks like this, but then for one frame, it's green. Such a weird mistake. And here's another one from this episode. Three mistakes in one episode. Squidina, did you save me? How about we save? Celebrate with some pickle pie! Is it safe? No! Don't eat it! Well, four out of five doctors can't be wrong! Tastes like an A plus! Wait, does this contain gluten? <laughs> Were you guys able to catch this one? Well, when the teacher asks Squidina about her finished pickle pie, that's disgusting, a pickle pie, that is seriously so gross. But anyways, as the teacher asks this, if you take a look at his hand, it's colored white for a frame. Well, it's more of like a light green or something like that, but it's not the right color. Normally his hands look like this, as you can see, but in this one, they're white. And yeah, that's another mistake. Three mistakes on one episode, that's a lot. Let's head over to another Another episode with even more mistakes. Desperate times call for desperate measures. What the? All right, 
Let's talk about some modern Spongebob. Our next mistake can be found in season 12. The episode is Knock Knock Who's There. Now I'm gonna be real, this is not a fan favorite episode amongst Spongebob fans. As a matter of fact, Spongebob fans really just think this episode's pointless. I agree. Here are some scenes from this episode. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and then we'll get right into the mistake. I'm trusting you to take care of me house when I'm away. Do not open the door for anyone. I'm here for the fast food founding fathers convention. That'll be 10 cents entrance fee. Ah! 10 cents? That's a rip off. I'm going home. Bye -bye. Open up. I forgot my keys. Who is it? It's me, Mr. Krabs. Open up, boy. You can't be Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs is at a convention, and he said not to open the door for anyone. But, uh, uh, open up! I mean, the episode has some funny moments. It's just the plot is kind of a waste of a time, which is why it isn't surprising that there is a mistake in this episode. I will admit, though, this isn't really a mistake. It's more of like a continuity error. It's not that big of a deal, but it's still really funny. Let's see if you guys can spot it. Patrick, you gotta come over to Krabs' place. Someone's trying to break in. Please, hurry. Huh? Patrick, what's that big clown doing here? Great horn spoon. How's he doing that? Thank goodness you don't have any bones, buddy. Nope. All blubber. <laughs> Again, I'll kind of admit I'm pushing it with this one, guys. It's a cartoon, so this is just cartoon logic, but it still technically is a continuity mistake. As SpongeBob at one point in Knock Knock Who's There says to Patrick, thank goodness you don't have any bones. But this is incorrect, as Patrick does have bones. We've seen it in numerous episodes. For example, this clip from Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 3, this clip from Suction Cup Symphony, and even this clip from the episode Don't Look Now. So yeah, dude does have bones. This was just a little continuity error, and let's keep it moving to another mistake. What kind of resort is this? Where's the entertainment? Oh, well, you are absolutely right, sir. <laughs> Presenting the SpongeBob Follies. <laughs> Boring. This next one is spicy, and it takes place in a very underrated episode, that being Patrick's Staycation. I feel like nobody really talks about this episode, and while it isn't the best episode, it does have some really good moments, just like this. Take a look. Welcome to Star Rock Inn, sir. My name is Todd. Can I check you in? May I take your bags, Mr. Star? Oh, I don't have any bags. Oh. Follow me, sir. Your room is right this way. I'm not sure I like the way this room is arranged. Arranged? Mr. Star, are you sure about this? It's an interesting episode, right? Now, let's dive into the mistakes, what you guys have been waiting for, what you guys clicked on the video for. Here is mistake number one. One Krabby Patty coming up. You are smoking. <laughs> oh, it was nothing. No. No, you're really smoking. What? <laughs> Oh no, the Krabby Patty! <coughs> <coughs> Mr. Star, your meal is ready. Patrick, where is he? So I'll admit, this mistake is a bit of a nitpick on my end. It isn't that big of a deal. But when SpongeBob gets out of the burned Krabby Patty, his chef suit had no sleeves. Seems harmless, right? Well, this is kind of a mistake, as in every other shot of this episode when SpongeBob is wearing his fresh chef suit over here, it has sleeves. It always has sleeves. But in this one shot, the sleeves are just missing. I mean, like I said, not that big of a deal, but somewhat of a mistake here. This next one, though, trust me, this one is spicy. Oh, Patrick! Patrick, what have you done to yourself? I've been waking up, eating, sleeping. Waking up, I need a break from the hustle and bustle of my everyday life. I'm so exhausted. Please help me. Pal, what you need is a vacation. 
That's it! Did you guys catch it? Well, when SpongeBob says, Pat, what you need is a vacation, take a look at our favorite sponge's eyes, as one of his blue eyes turn white for an entire split second. Normally, SpongeBob looks like this and has these beautiful deep blue eyes. He's so handsome. But for this one shot for just about a second, SpongeBob's eyes are to weaken, dude. It's just white. I don't think somebody's eye would just be entirely white. That's uh, that's not how it works. I was sincerely hoping that today might finally be the day that... Yes, Eugene? Can I steal a little kiss? Come here, you. <laughs> oh, what a woman. Oh, Eugene. Now, I personally really like this next episode. I think it's like a solid episode in terms of modern SpongeBob, and that's Whirly Brains. An episode all about like a crazy toy, dude. I would never play with this toy personally. Here, I'm gonna show some clips really quickly. Would you guys play with this toy? Well, say goodbye to boring. And hello to Whirly Brains, the exciting new toy that puts you in the driver's seat of your own mind. Just flip your lid, attach the propeller, and watch your brain soar hundreds of feet into the air! Okay, Patrick, just let me flip your lid so I can attach the propeller directly to your brain. It's time to free our minds. I've never seen the world from this angle before. Okay, it's mistake time, all right? Enough about Whirly Brains toys. We're here for mistakes, and here's the first one. I want you guys to try and spot this one without me telling you. This one is just really funny, but when this fish right here on the right, this incidental character right here, drinks his tea, the tea actually overlaps him. The tea should be going like into his mouth, but as you can see here, it's overlapping his mouth, guys, which in terms of 2D animation is not correct. For example, take a look at the pink or purple fish over here and how the glass is like touching their lips. That's how it should look. Not a big deal, but it's still a mistake, guys. It's still a mistake. And there's more. Take a look at this one right here. Hey, where's Squidward? I'm sure I saw him in here. Did you fall in? Squidward! Stop serenading me, you sap! It's my day off! Now go away! Oh, man! That's him! I screwed her! So this one is a continuity error, as when Squidward sees Plankton's brain floating up and down, he screams out, aliens from Mars, while wearing his signature shirt. All right, look at him, he's looking fresh, he's looking dapper. But then, literally in the next shot, like seconds later, guys, like a couple seconds later, he is now naked and not wearing a shirt. Which, hey, zero complaints here, but if dude was wearing a t-shirt in this one shot, seconds later, he should still be wearing the t-shirt. Like, I highly doubt Squidward was so scared of Patrick's brain that he took his shirt off. So yeah, this was another mistake. And guys, let's keep the video moving. I've got more. Excuse me, a patty for the lady, please. Try reading the <laughs> sign, Casanova. Uh. You never learned to read, did you? No. That's all right. Neither did I. We are meant for each other! Out of SpongeBob's 13 seasons, I'd say that season seven and eight are the most like underrated seasons where people don't talk about them as much. And even when I look at the episodes released in those seasons, there's a ton of episodes like I don't even recognize. One of those episodes was Love That Squid, which is pretty good after I watched it. Take a look at some of these hilarious scenes. <gasps> <laughs> Who, who is that? She's gaga gaga. She's gaga 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 gaga. I absolutely adore the decor. Exquisitely minimalist. She speaks our jargon. Oh, what culinary delights does this menu hold? SpongeBob, she's got it all. Well, why don't you ask her out on one of those dates you keep talking about? My next move, exactly. Is that Salmonese? Boy, you were floundering up there. But you know what is the most amazing thing about Squidward? Uh, it's his selflessness. 
his undying commitment to being a true friend. And I know anyone who is lucky enough to go on a romantical date with this guy would get to experience things on a whole other and very special level. Ooh. So how does dinner at eight sound, Squilvia? I think that sounds perfect. Bruh, Squidward be simping in this episode. My boy, a big simp, simping for Squilvia over here, which I don't blame him. She's kind of cute, though. But anyways, this episode has two mistakes. Here's the first one. Well, since no one seems to want to take my order, I'll go elsewhere. What? She's leaving. Oh, no, she's not. Hang on, buddy. Hey, it which way? Remember, Ray, the eight day. This one's like really weird and just random, dude. But when Squilvia walks away from the register, a motor appears in the boat. Like it just appears. It then disappears once they go to the front of the dining room. But I mean, where did it come from? This motor just randomly appears and then disappears. What? And there's another mistake in this episode. Take a peek at this one. Remember, Ray, the eight day. <laughs> I believe Squidward here is trying to ask you on a romantic date, ma'am. So, what do you think? You want to date him? Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, I'm not too sure. Wait a minute! Yeah, that last one was weird, but this one's a little more straightforward and is just a blatant continuity error. So, while SpongeBob is talking to Squilvia about Squidward, SpongeBob being the best wingman ever to Squidward, he's like the homie for that, look behind them as there are two buildings in the window glass in the background. Right here, these two buildings, I'm zooming in. Remember, because it's important. But then, in the next shot, the one to the left just disappears. Where'd it go? It's just gone. First, there were two buildings in the background, but then literally seconds later, not even a second, like a millisecond later, and the one on the left is just gone. Not that big of a deal, but I mean, it is a mistake, guys. Like, that's a mistake, but let's keep it moving and head over to another episode. I got lots of content for you guys today. Gee, Patrick, I didn't know you spoke bird. No, that's Italian, Spongebob. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Next up is some more season two, guys. I love old school Spongebob. I say this all the time. You guys know this, but just old school Spongebob is the best. Seasons one, two, and three, four is not too bad, but this episode is wormy. I know you guys know this episode. And here is the first mistake. Take a look at this. <gasps> Shoot. Looks like a twister hit this place. Hey there, wormy. You weren't supposed to change till I got back. That ought to hold you, little guy. Howdy, SpongeBob. Sandy caught the monster. Golly, maybe I should go out of town more often. This first mistake can be found closer to the ending of the episode. It has to do with our favorite guy, Fred, over here, Mr. My Leg. <laughs> Well, if you watch Fred over here as he's carrying Sandy and SpongeBob at the ending of the episode, our boy's eyes become like transparent. They're like see-through, they become like gray pretty much, but that's not how Fred is supposed to look, guys. That's just a weird mistake. It's only for a frame, but it's still a mistake. And there's more. Here's mistake number two. <laughs> What might have happened if we didn't tell everyone about the monster? About the what? <laughs> This next one is just funny. Like this is, I don't know how the writers or animators made this mistake. It's cartoon logic, so it's fine. But during this scene, we can see that SpongeBob and Patrick are running away from Wormy terrified, along with a ton of other Bikini Bottomites. And if you look closely, we can see that the city, Bikini Bottom, is like destroyed. <laughs> it's just destroyed, all right? Havoc has been ensued. Here's the thing though, if you watch the episode as it progresses, okay? When everybody reaches the traffic light, well being chased. Take a look at the city now because it's like perfectly fine. Before this, it was destroyed like seconds prior. Like, look at this. Like, this place is destroyed, but now it's just perfectly fine. So, this is a bit of a weird continuity error. Again, it's cartoon logic, but just, yeah, it's kind of funny. It's totally a mistake. And here's another one from this episode. Let's see if you guys can spot it. <laughs> Ah! 
So going back to the scene where all of the Bikini Bottomites are being chased by this monster over here, this worm, this butterfly wormy, we have another mistake as we want to take a look at Incidental 7, okay? At first, her dress is yellow. You can see right here, it's a beautiful yellow dress. But this dress just randomly changes colors in the matter of seconds. It changes from yellow to gray, as you can see right here. I'm zooming in, and now her dress is just randomly gray. I mean, it's pretty, but it wasn't originally gray. It was yellow, and yeah. I've got one more mistake for this episode, guys, and I'm gonna make it really quick. You have no excuse for missing this one because I've done a similar one in this video. Watch. Bye, Sandy! Oh, wait! You forgot about this pet! Oh, that's only wormy. He don't eat much. Were you guys able to catch it? If so, I'm very proud of you as take a look at the acorn badge on Sandy's suit. Just like pre-hibernation week, throughout this entire episode, it is black as opposed to this, the regular color as you can see here. Throughout all of wormy, it's this color, it's black, which, you know, that was the same thing in pre-hibernation week. So if you guys caught it, I'm really proud of you guys. But anyways, let's keep it moving and head over to another episode. <laughs> It appears to be my lunch hour. Ooh, grown-ups have to eat too. I guess this will oh, have to do. You don't want this baby food. How about a big piece of steamed coral? Oh yeah. Uh gray. Nutritious. All right, so I know some of you guys like hate the Patrick Star show, so to like rinse your mouth out, all right, to cleanse your palate, here's a good old fashioned SpongeBob episode. I'm talking about Grandma's Kisses. This is like such a good episode, so much so that we're gonna get into the mistakes, but here are just some funny scenes from the episode. It's so nostalgic. You know how grandmas are, they love babies. You just can't act like a baby around her. You're right, Patrick. You're a man now, SpongeBob, and it's time you started acting like one. First, puff out your chest. Now say tax exemption. Tax exemption. This is it. What are you gonna tell Grandma? I'm a grown-up. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. And then you get behind her and I'll push. Patrick, we didn't say that. I am glad you see it my way, Grandmother. Well, I'm glad that's settled. But what am I going to do with all these fresh-baked cookies? Sorry, Grandmother. We adults don't partake in the consumption of sweets. Right, Pat? Trick? Keep them coming, Granny! <laughs> So much for no more baby stuff. See, I know we've got a lot of younger viewers on the channel, but if you were watching SpongeBob back when I was watching it, like in the early 2000s, this episode was a banger. It's a really good episode. But even bangers like this one have mistakes. You guys know the drill. Keep those eyes peeled and take a look at this. You don't have to be a baby to get old grandma's love. I don't. Of course not. <laughs> and remember, you can kiss your grandma and still be an adult. Here you go. Thanks, Grandma. Could you not mention this to the guys down at the Krusty Krab? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> You need the eyes of a hawk to really catch this one, and it has to do with colors. So, when Squidward and the Krusty Krab customers are seen amusingly laughing at SpongeBob hugging his grandmother at the end, it's so lame. There's nothing wrong with loving your grandmother or your mother, guys. There's nothing wrong with that. But anyways, when Squidward and the gang are roasting SpongeBob for it, they're just making fun of him, there's these two incidentals right here. Now, throughout the episode, and just normally in general, they're blue, all right? But for some reason, at the ending, they're green and purple. Like I said, normally they're blue as you can see here, but then these two incidentals just randomly change colors at the end and turn to green and purple. If you actually know how incidentals work, you know this is a mistake. These aren't different fish. They're the same fish, just these types of mistakes happen sometimes, especially with incidentals. But let's keep it going and head over to another mistake, guys. I know you guys can catch this one. Thanks, Grandma. SpongeBob, you forgot your kissy kissy. I sure did. <laughs> Bye, Grandma. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> Isn't this great? Everybody's in a good mood today. They're laughing at you, not with you. There's nothing wrong with getting kisses from your grandma. No. Especially if you're a big baby who wears diapers. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! 
This one is very similar to the last one. So in the first shot, Clayton over here is azure, all right? You can see he's this color, look at him, all right? Look at him, remember this. Then in the second shot, he's now violet. He's just changed colors entirely. But then it gets even worse as in the following shot, our boy changes colors again and is now this color. So just, yeah, another messy one, dude. Like the color changing mistakes aren't that big of a deal, but they are like a character doesn't just change colors, guys. That doesn't happen. <laughs> A great fortune has fallen upon you. <laughs> Did you hear that, Gary? The fortune is true. Let's look at your future. <laughs> Happy trails will follow you always. <gasps> your fortune came true too. <laughs> We've been talking about a bunch of older SpongeBob episodes in today's video. Episodes from like season two, three, six, seven, eight. But it's time for some modern SpongeBob, some widescreen. So let's talk about the episode Lame and Fortune. Here's the first mistake. <laughs> Enjoy your new fortune cookies, crabs. La, 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 la. Time for a refill. My tentacles are gonna fall off if I don't get a break soon, Mr. Krabs. Yeah, so in the scene right after SpongeBob takes Plankton's fortune cookies, the character Lenny, this guy right here, is shown without his suit on in the wide shot. For a majority of this episode, he's wearing his suit. But in this one shot, his suit just isn't there. They just forgot to draw it. And then in the next shot, the next scene where Squidward asks for a break, look, dude is back in his suit again. So he was wearing his suit, then he wasn't wearing the suit, and now the suit is back on. Like, don't get me wrong. Wrong. the suit is fresh, but let's have some continuity here, Nickelodeon. This was a mistake. And that's still not it, guys. I've got one more mistake for this episode. Eat your hat and you will fall in love. You need the eyes of a hawk to catch this one, and hopefully you guys did catch this one because it's kind of a classic mistake. This has happened many times. So when Incidental 114 and Incidental 115 are dancing, look at them, they've got the moves. Take a look at the Galley Grub menu, as it's spelt as G-A-L-L-Y grub when it's supposed to be G-A-L-L-E-Y grub. So another mistake there. Now Grapple Gang, that is going to do it for today's video, but don't click off yet. We're not done yet. Instead, click this video right here on screen for more Spongebob mistakes, crazy mistakes. Spongebob mistakes you've never seen before, and honestly guys, between me and you, they're better mistakes than the one in this video, so click it, click the video, do it! If you click the video, I'll come to your house right now and I'll bring you a Krusty Krab pizza, all right? A whole Krusty Krab pizza, it'll be delicious. So click the video, do it, click it, click it!